In the second tutorial of this series, we looked at how basic text properties like size and font can be used to draw a viewer's attention to certain elements of your message. But pro designs often use multiple approaches to create what we call a visual hierarchy. Let's look at some things like graphic elements and color to take our designs to that next level. Now in this tutorial, you use spacing, a visual separator, and color to make some small changes that have a significant impact on your layout. Now I know you wanna get started in the tutorial, but let's first look at some examples of what I'm talking about. If we look at the ad, you can see it's for a clearance sale. But right now, clearance and sale don't feel like they belong together because clearance is closer to flare style. Let's try creating some space between flare style and clearance. Now the text was turned into shapes so it always looks the same and it's grouped together. Anytime you wanna edit something in a group, you can double click on the group to enter isolation mode. Now we can select flare style and drag it away from clearance. After you make a change to part of a group, you can press the escape key to exit the mode and the content is grouped again. Now adding some distance helped, but since flare style is the brand name, we really want it to stand out from the rest of the text. There are a lot of ways to do this, but we think a simple underline would achieve this result nicely. With the line segment tool, you can drag to make a simple line. You'll immediately notice that we've created a visual hierarchy between flare style and clearance, but this line doesn't match the look we're going for. There are lots of ways to give a line more character. From the options in the stroke panel, you can make the stroke weight thicker, round the corners of the lines, and even experiment with different profiles from the presets included. We've spaced the text out and added a line, but because the text is all black, nothing stands out. So now we need to use color as a way to add focus. But we don't wanna use just any color. A good practice is to use a color from another part of the design. This helps to create a more cohesive look for the design, but more importantly, creates the visual separation we want. So with the text selected, you can select the eyedropper tool and click on some other part of the design. For instance, this artwork, to sample that color and apply it to the text. One last finishing touch is to align everything to the center of the design. You can spend a lot of time aligning objects individually to the center, but it's easy to achieve this in just a couple of clicks. Select everything with the selection tool and center align in the properties panel. Let's recap. We can create visual hierarchy in a number of ways. Increasing space between text, inserting graphic elements, and changing color can all help to create a deliberate focus on the most important elements of your message. Now it's your turn. Start this tutorial with step-by-step -step instructions to add finishing touches to an ad. 